Divakar, why did you choose to be the producer? Oh, it's, uh, I really don't know because um, quite frankly, um, it's task enough for me to kind of produce my own films. That takes all my life and all my strength. I mean, at night I come back home drained from the experience of producing and directing my own film. Uh, but Kanu was very clear. We were working together from Oye Lucky. Then he co-wrote Love, Sex or Dhoka with me. And after that, it was a kind of an unwritten thing on the wall that when Kanu's first film comes up, I would produce it. Though I am not the kind of uh, director, producer who goes on to produce a lot of films for the people who worked with him. I am not. Uh, Anurag is. Uh, and and uh, Vishal is. I have enough of issues with my own films and I can't really handle too many films. Uh, so, so when Kanu came to me with his supposedly first film script and we both sat down on it, we kind of knew that we would be doing it. And, but that script we decided that we would not. And then Kanu went back. He was supposed to assist me on Shanghai, but he did not. He went back and wrote another thing and came back to me with Titli. And that is when I read the first draft of Titli, that is when I realized that short of directing it myself, the next best thing that I can do is, first of all, my first reaction was to really to be able to direct it. I didn't know how to tell this to Kanu, okay, your first film, why don't you let me direct it, you know. So, uh, <laughs> somehow, I wasn't shameless or selfish enough to do that. And then the best thing to do after that is to be associated with it as a producer. So that's what I did. Uh, the yeah. script really pushed my buttons, you know. It really made me sort of sit up and become jealous and impressed and inspired all of a sudden. I remember some of the most rewarding moments have been the scripting sessions or the creative sessions that Sharad, me and Kanu have sat on while Titli was still a script. And those uh, sessions inspired me in my other endeavors like Boom Kish Bakshi or whatever it is. So for me, it was a very creatively exciting time. That's, what, that's all I can say. So it could be said that uh, it's Kanu's baby in totality without uh, uh, no interference of the Bakar. Well, if a producer interferes, then he probably is committing suicide because... I know, but uh, I'm a producer now, so I can't afford to be directed on someone else's film. You can't backseat drive. If you have decided that you're producing this, if you've had a kind of a consensus on the screenplay, as much of a consensus that you can have between two people, then it is suicidal and fatal to start backseat driving once the director starts. So no, I wasn't really. My job was to see how could we finish the film in the minimum budget possible, how could at the same time give Kanu the best creative comfort that he could have and all those extremely logistical things. And that came out of my own experience of making my films in the shortest, smallest possible amount that I could. So that's all I did, nothing much.